Hey guys, so today we're taking a look at the Petrel 75 V2. This is a very interesting quad to me, so I'm excited to show it to you. Uh, HGLRC did send it to me to review, so I did not pay for it, but they did not have any say in anything I'm about to tell you about it. So this is all just honest opinions. I, th I thought it was a really kind of exciting quad, and it's the reason that I reached out to HGLRC in the first place. So we're taking a look at it and what comes with it. And I believe that there are props somewhere too. Yes, there are props. So we get some cute little stickers. My daughter will like those. We see that the propellers are done in the outer formation to fly safely and a manual. So it comes with Oh, it has a set of propellers on it already. I was going to say it only comes with one set of propellers, but HGLRC has shown to be generous once again with two sets of propellers. Amazing. <laughs> You'll be able to fly this forever. Okay, there's all these like little slots inside the case. So it has this thing that it lets you use the US, US, USB-C and put it like this so that you can sit your drone flat. So that's a nice feature. thing is actually really awesome it's become one of my favorite little gadgets because i don't know if you've noticed that with your computer sometimes it doesn't like to read the mini usb versus the usb-c usb-c seems to do better and what this does is it plugs into any of these flight controllers and it can go in like this but it's non-binary. It goes either way. So you can stick it in either way and connect to the drone with USB-C instead of trying to always get it in at a weird angle or whatever. It just makes it really nice. That's a real nice feature. It, I use this so much, so I actually really, really, really like this thing comes with this drone. It doesn't come with two of the others that they sent me, but this drone specifically comes with this thing. And and that's a very nice thing. It's great. I just didn't realize how great it was at the time. It's like, you know how sometimes there's just like little things that just make you happy. Like having an electric screwdriver. These things are the best. Like, they're the best. If you go into my profile and you check my uh, Amazon links, there's a group called FPV, and you can see the things that are like at FPV, or you can see all the other things I like. I only put products there that I actually test, use, and recommend. I'll never recommend something just for the sake of it. Only stuff tried, tested, and proven good. Okay? Back, back to the... They come with the A30 connectors, so I think they're a little bit better than the BT2 or similar, but they work with BT2. You can squeeze your BT2s in there if you want. And uh, I haven't seen a drone really come with this yet, so that's kind of nice that it has the, the battery set like this. It's still a little long, so I would probably shorten it because I'm a bit crazy. Uh, it has this strange way of putting... Uh, batteries on with this like elastic holder so I've, I've never seen that before either so you kind of just take the uh, elastic and you put your battery through the elastic and it is a hefty elastic that does seem to hold the battery in place so it doesn't seem like the battery is going anywhere so that's nice it's interesting so far, I like the uh, the battery trays on the Meteors the most, but what I've found is, did I find? I didn't find anything. Just a little bit nervous, okay? <laughs> so, so it has 802 motors that are 21,000 kV, and personally, uh, I've always preferred kind of the 1002s or the 702s. I'm kind of like, if you're going to make it light, make it as light as possible. Use some... Um, 702s and do it something like this but you see with this frame like it already cracked over here the happy model frames are really kind of weak in here 
and then I find the meteor frames are great, but the electronics aren't as good. So when I saw this drone, it really appealed to me because it seems like it has a very solid frame. And getting it, it it is. It's it's very solid. It seems like it's something like in between the cockroach style frames. The thing with the cockroach ones is they're almost too hard. And then with like the lots of the happy model plastics, like they're they're kind of like too soft. So this feels almost like it's made out of that material that the fox whoops are made of, like the indestructible stuff. I don't know, but it's not clear. It's it's almost clear, but th it just it doesn't feel like this is going to be breaking anytime soon. It feels like it's very solid. This is a five in one, so it has the same five in one that uh, the Dre Shark 16 has. So these two both are using the same uh, board. So the receiver on it is SPI. That's probably the biggest weakness that it's. But SPI can can still you know. Express LRS has really good range, so we'll see if we have any problems with that. It would be nice if it was a serial as opposed to SPI, but we have a 5-in-1. It has a 25 to 400 milliwatt power. The nice thing is with that, it makes everything light. The bad thing is that if anything goes, your whole board is basically poop. Now, another feature that makes these better is that most of the 1S drones that you see out there have 5 amp ESCs and this one has 10 amp ones so that means twice the amount of heftiness. There's a bigger camera in there too so lots of them have uh, the small like the Runcam Nano 4. This is also a Runcam Nano 4 but it's it's not the light one it's a little bit bigger and personally it does make it heavier but it also makes it look nicer so you can you can always switch the camera out and stuff like that too uh, i'd be tempted to kind of put one of my canopies on here if i find out how heavy this canopy is if this canopy is like three grams then maybe i would if it's three grams or more but if it's around like one and a half grams to two if, yeah if it's like around one and a half grams i would actually leave that on there because it's solid like i'm thinking that this might end up being my little trainer for my daughter to be able to learn how to fly because I like that it's it's nice and like it's it's like tight it's a tight build and um, more drones need to be built tight with, with the center of gravity that just seems solid it seems like it does protect the electronics even better than the um, than the shark one because the thing with the shark one is this is exposed and you might end up hitting your express LRS tower Whereas with this, here it's nice and safe. Even if the tower does get knocked off, you can just solder a wire, so that could be okay. So it comes with like five, it comes with a ton of elastics. So once again, HGLRC has been generous. So generous. Let's wire this up. Let's, let's take it over to the computer and see how quickly we can get it bound with our radio. And then we're going to test it, kind of just stock how it is. We're going to have that video here for you coming very soon in this video. Th then on a live stream, I'm going to take this apart. I'll direct solder it. We'll put the tune on and everything, and then we'll have it even better. But I think that this is, I'm very excited about this. I'm hoping that this is actually like my new favorite go-to whoop, because I think that the every it, the components seem nice. The build seems nice, the quality is there, and I think that lots of people kind of haven't even thought to look at this drone. Everyone's been looking at the Mobula 1S, which is an excellent drone, but this frame, it's just, it's it's wiggly, wobbly, and you see the battery tray, it, like with Happy Model, they make the battery trays further away. So you see that, you see how it sticks out? And then on this, it doesn't, so it keeps it nice and tight. So also the, the elastics will at least kind of keep the battery pressure fit, so they'll be pulling the battery down. Whereas with these, you stick the battery in the tray, and like this part of the tray can get messed up. And the plastic is not good quality. Like this is actually a much better quality plastic. But it's also a heavier drone, so it weighs 27.2 grams. 
Oh, I wonder if I could... No, I don't think I could cut seven grams off of that. It's just... It is made very well. This is what appeals to me the most about this. It's it's made well enough that I look at it and I don't see anything that really annoys me other than the plugs. So many times when I look at drones, the moment I see them, there's something that bothers me. There's something that kind of annoys me or like the canopies like so weak or way too heavy. Like it's like one or the other. You'll end up with be like this that is like a tank and nothing's going to break it, but it weighs three grams almost. And then you'll get those other canopies that are just so, they're light, but they're so weak that they just fall apart on you. And you don't want to be flying with a bloody cracked canopy. And so I usually do the 3D printed, but I really, I really like this drone. So I'm really excited to see how it does. So let's go to the computer and see how quickly we can bind it to our radio and uh, then go give it a test flight. So what do we got? Let's go to the radio. You know what? The way that uh, the new uh, beta flight is, how you can just do all this so easily without having to flash anything, it makes me very, very happy. Well, Mr. Snake, FPV, you can stick your name in there. You put in telemetry and you do save and reboot. Then we can do bind receiver. Should be able to do it just this easily. I'm hoping because the Dre Shark just bound perfectly for me. Oh, okay, well, yes, we are connected. I think we're connected. We got the telemetry. It says telemetry is that. We got throttle. We got yaw. We got roll and pitch. So everything is good. Only thing we're going to do is we're going to put on my uh, rates. Okay, so if you want to try out my rates, you can do that. I kind of just stick these on everything. Do their... Similar to uh, Min Chan's rates, but I modified them just a little bit. If you want to learn about how I got my rates, I'll put a video for that at the end. And have another video where you can stick three different rates on a switch, so you might want to check that out too. I'll put both of those videos so you can try those things out. But those are my rates. We're going to No. <laughs> okay. I see how it is. You want to fight with me? Too bad I remember everything. For you do this enough, you start to just bloody remember it all. Thank goodness. Now, it takes so long to learn FPV, but once you get it, like, once you know all these things, it makes you feel so good. This is just like, I can do it. Okay, so it's saved. We have our radio thing saved. Port. We gotta do this. Okay, so let's just close this all. We'll get rid of everything. We flip over after crash. Add range. Boom. Uh, beeper. Where's the beeper? Where is the beeper? There's the beeper. I have that as my right button. And then we have arm. And I'm gonna go on my left to right switch at the top. And on my left to right right switch at the bottom. So it's a three switch. So this is arm, this is disarm, this is arm, but at the same time, it's also flip over crash. So I can do it all in one swift movement and be the fastest at the races because I, I can't win the races by uh, my speed, but I can do better by being able to recover after I crash quicker. So that is that, and I believe we should be ready to go to the races. Okay, here we are with the Petrol B2 and we're at the park and we're gonna fly a few packs we're gonna fly the uh, beta fpv 450 the lava 450 and then the gnb 530 and we're gonna uh, we're gonna see what it's like so this is a maiden flight let's check it out the vtx we're gonna put it on 100 save yes okay back i like this uh font this is the font i usually use and uh, let's go. It is a bit windy, so this will be interesting. Yeah, this feels, this already actually feels better. Where's my voltage? The voltage has dropped. Yeah, these batteries, I guess, are not as good, huh? It's funny because this is a whoop, but it feels better than the um, the shark did.
You're like this, I can point it where I want to go and I go there. Woo! This feels really good. Where's my voltage? It's weird to look at my voltage. Yeah, I feel like this, this is much better. Yeah, this feels nice, okay. Still feels nice at 340. Okay. Two more packs. Let's do this. Yeah, this, this, you know what? I knew this was going to be good too. It's funny how you can just look at it and know. It's just, it feels good. It feels solid. Okie dokie, all to chokey. Not yet. I got two more packs, baby. And then you get to spin me. Sure. Okay, let's go. Pack number two. Let's go say hello. Hey, what happens if we do a little... Uh, uh, no prop wash. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. I want to jump off the slide. Go for it. Almost. Let's try that again. And bring it over. The stick got stuck in it. Yay, it's still alive. Kill all my drones the first time I fly it. Are we still good? Are we still okay? Just rip around a bit. Did that mess it up? Okay, the last pack. Ooh. I feel like if this had the motors that was on the shark thing, I'd like it a lot more. But let's do our last pack. I'm a believer in the GNB 530s. The uh, eight, the 380s were terrible quality. All the bloody connectors fell off. But I think I like these. These are my probably my new favorite 1S batteries. And I like the Lava 300s. But when you're outside. You want to, when you're outside, it's different than when you're racing. When you're racing, you want to be light and nimble. And when you're outside, you want to have a little bit of that um, authority. A little bit of authority. Okay, the last pack. 
Well, let's not destroy everything. Ooh. I don't know if I can go all the way around. I want to go all the way around. I don't know if I can. Ooh, can I, if I go up, does it get better? That's how I lose my drone. Oh my god. Let's go back to the park. Oh my god, where am I? The park is here, is it not? Where the heck did I go? Here I am. Okay. Oh my god, that was scary. I almost lost it, and there goes my whole battery. <laughs> oh, we made it back. Okay, yes, yes, a little bit of freestyle. Can we freestyle? Oh, yes. No, I can't, like, pull it back. What is that flashing crap? It's like the battery warning or something? Okay, what do we want to do? We want to try to do... No, I wasn't able to do it. I want to do like a side loop. Oh no, but I don't want it to die. Avery, turn it right side up. Oh. Let me go down to slide. What? Put me down to slide. Okay. Woo! <laughs> Let's try this again. Okay, here we go. Dun 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 dun. Yay! That's what I wanted to do. And now the battery is done, done. Ooh. I like this. I really like this one. I was going to say, the Petrol 2. She's like, what, what were you going to say? The, yeah, well, the, uh, the Petrol 2 did not disappoint. I was very happy with it. It's a little heavier because of the camera. But it feels really good. <laughs> I think that it's a really solid choice for uh, beginners. The frame is solid. Uh, it feels pretty decently just like out of the box. Uh, it's able to flip over still, even though it's not that like top heavy. And uh, I think it'd be great for indoor racing with the uh, with the buddies. Buy one from my affiliate link below and we're gonna still make it better. There's not too much to do to it. I'm probably just gonna direct solder the motors and give it my tune. So if you wanna see that, it'll be in a live stream video. Just search the Petrel 75 V2. I made it better or making it better or something like that. And you'll be able to see what to do to yours if you end up getting it. But right out of the box, it's pretty good. Locked in. I tried, but it didn't 
We also got through three batteries without killing it. Yay!